From this day, your uh, account, past life, all sinful activities is now, um, what is called, adjusted, closed. This is finished. Now, because by chanting Hare Krishna you can finish your sinful activities, reaction, that does not mean that you will repeat, oh, I shall commit sinful activities and I shall chant, it will be adjusted. The balance will be nil. No, not like that. Don't come with that. Whatever is done is done. No. Uh, now there should be pure life. No, no illicit sex life, no intoxication, no gambling, and no meat it. It is. No. Uh, it is not that, oh, I am chanting Hare Krishna, let me uh, go to the hotel and take some meat. No. And then it will be great sin. Don't do that. Then the, the, the chanting of Hare Krishna is not practical. If you commit offense. Next. Number seven. Instructing the Lord's name to the unfaithful. Yes. Unfaith, those who have no faith that Lord and His name are absolute. Just like here in this material world, the name and the person is different. Suppose your name is Mr. John. Uh, so if I chant John, 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 so uh, John may be a uh, hundred miles away. There is no response. But uh, the name, holy name of God, God is present everywhere. Uh, just like uh, the television, television is being uh, I mean to say, released in some place. If we have got the machine, immediately uh, the uh, picture is in your room. Mm -hmm. If it is materially, it can be so uh, possible. How much possibility there is in spiritual Krishna name? Immediately chant Krishna's name. That means Krishna is immediately on your tongue. Uh, so. What is that? Seven? Uh, no. Yes. Instructing the holy name to the young uh, So one who has no faith that the name of the Lord and the Lord Himself the same, there is no difference. One should not be instructed about the glories of the Lord. Uh, he should be instructed to understand, but if he uh, is unable to understand, then he should not be initiated or he should be require some time to understand. But you should always remember that Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasabhigya. Krishna and Krishna's name non different. As soon as you chant Hare Krishna, that means Krishna is dancing on your tongue. You should be careful in that way. Just like if Krishna, as you offer so much respect to the spiritual master, as soon as he is present, so if Krishna is present on your tongue, how much careful you should be? So you should always know that Krishna is there. Krishna is always everywhere. God is everywhere, but we have no realization. But this particular chanting, as soon as chant, holy name, that means you must know. So by associating with Krishna, you become purified. Sinnatang, sakata, just like associating with fire, you become warm. Similarly, associate with Krishna means you become purified. Gradually you become spiritualized, Naman material. Finished. This is the process. Yeah? Number eight, uh, comparing the holy name to material piety. Yeah. Now this function is being done. It should not be taken that we are doing something, a religious rituals. No. 
religious ritual is different thing. And this is, although it appears like rituals, but it is transcendental. It is above all kinds of religion. It is postgraduate study. The process is how to develop love of God. This is above all. Religion means uh, generally some kind of faith, but it is not the question of faith. It is actually developing how much you are love, loving Krishna or God. So it is uh, above all religion. It is not ordinary religion. And religion means suppose you are Christian, I am Hindu. As soon as this body is finished, my Christianism, mm-hmm. my religion, and everything is finished. But this love of God will not finish. It will go with you. Any bar you go, it will develop. If you can finish, then you go directly to Krishna, back to Godhead, uh, and you finish your normal material connection. Mm-hmm. Even if you are not able, then it goes with you. You accept. It will, the bank balance will not be diminished, it will increase. Uh, then? Number nine, inattentive while chanting the holy name. Yes, while you are chanting, you should hear also. That's for, that is meditation. Oh. Hare Krishna, these two words, Hare Krishna, you hear also. If you hear, then your mind and your tongue both captivated. That is perfect meditation. The first class yoga, hearing and chant. Then, and finally, number ten, attachment to material things while engaged in the practice of chanting. Yes, the whole process is that we are going to transfer our love from matter to God. So we should try to minimize. It will be automatically. Vakti parishanu bhava virakti anattasya. If you actually develop love of God, then naturally you forget to love this all this material nonsense. That is sequence. But you should try also. You should, this will happen. It's like if you eat, then gradually you minimize your hankering after eating. When you are full, then you say, I don't want it. Similarly, Krishna consciousness is so nice that with the progress of Krishna consciousness you forget the so-called material nonsense in the island. And when you are in perfect stage, oh, you don't care for anything, all oh, this material nonsense. This is the test. You cannot say, I am, I am progressing in meditation by my material attachment to all sense gratification is the same. There is no progress. The progress means that you will minimize your material attachment for sense gratification. This is progress. So, now you can chant. Ah, we have got this. Chant for it is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.